Hello friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from Part 1 to Part 22 before going ahead with Part 23. Now that we are clear with what is degree of freedom, it will be easier for us to understand the law of equipartition of energy. This law states that in equilibrium, the total energy is equally distributed in all possible energy modes, with each mode having an average energy equal to half kb into t. This b should be the subscript. So what does it say? It says that in equilibrium, the total energy will be equally distributed to each degree of freedom. That's what is told here. It is equally distributed in all possible energy modes with each mode having an average energy equal to half kb into t. That means when I talk of translational mode, it should have an average energy equal to half kb into t. That is each degree of freedom, each translational degree of freedom should have half kb, each rotational degree of freedom should have half kb into t. That is each translational degree of freedom should contribute half kb into t. Similarly, each rotational degree of freedom should contribute half kb into t. Similarly, each vibrational degree of freedom should contribute. It should not be half kb into t. It should be rather 2 into half kb into t. Because in each vibrational degree of freedom, there are two square terms of energy. Because each vibrational degree of freedom involves two energy terms. One is kinetic energy term and the other is potential energy term. So in case of a vibrational degree of freedom, each vibrational degree of freedom contributes kb into t. Please remember this very clearly because you might need it when you get some problems. Now we will see how does this law of equipartition of energy helps us to calculate the specific heat capacities of various gases. This also I told you as one of the points in the first slides where I told why was this kinetic theory a success. Because it calculated the specific heat capacities of many gases correctly. So let us see how do we do that. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more.